Hey guys, maintaining the correct time on your Raspberry Pi is super important for many projects. And since the Raspberry Pi doesn't have its own real-time clock, it uses external servers to synchronize its time. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the time date CTL package. And this is gonna help us synchronize our Raspberry Pi's time with official servers from NIST, which is the National Institute of Standards and Technology. So first, let's connect to our Raspberry Pi using SSH, or you can start its terminal if that's easier for you. Let's first check our time by running the date command. As you can see here, the time on my Raspberry Pi seems to be a few minutes behind, and it doesn't seem to match the correct up-to-date time that's on my Windows machine. So let's get this fixed. First, we're gonna make changes to the time sync deconfiguration file by running the following sudo nano command. And once the file is open, let's use command W or control W to search for fallback NTP. And if you found it, let's uncomment it by removing the pound sign. And if you couldn't find it, go ahead and get it added anywhere on this file. We need to set this value to time.nist.gov. This is telling our Pi to use NIST's internet time servers to keep the date and time accurate. Now let's save changes to this file by pressing Control X followed by Y and then hitting enter. Next, we're gonna run the following time date CTL command to set NTP to true. This is making sure that network time sync is enabled because otherwise, if this is turned off, our Raspberry Pi won't be making any effort to keep its clock updated. We're almost done. Because we just made this change, we still need to restart the time sync service. And you can run the same command I'm running here to do this. At this point, our settings should have kicked in and you can verify this by running time date CTL show dash time sync. You should be seeing something similar to this output. And notice how the fallback NTP value is matching the update that we made earlier from the configuration file. And now I'm gonna run the date command again. As you can see, the time now matches my PC's up-to-date time. For most people, you should be set at this point. But if some of you are seeing a completely different time, don't worry. You most likely just need to set a time zone for seeing an accurate local time. To do this, let's run time date CTL list dash time zones. This will basically show you all the different time zones available that you can use. You can cycle through each one of these by hitting the enter key. And if you found the one you want, let's copy this value. And to exit out of this list, you can use control C or command C. We can now update the time zone by running the time date CTL command, but with the set dash time zone option. And don't forget to paste the time zone that you copied in the previous step. And now for those of you that just wanna manually set your time without using the network, this is easy. First, let's tell our Pi to turn off the network time sync by setting NTP to false. You can now manually set your time by running sudo time date CTL set dash time. The last part is super important. You need to make sure that it matches this format, which reads a four digit year, a two digit month, a two digit day, then hours, minutes, and seconds. And to see if it manually updated just run the date command again, and then boom, it should now be set. So using this approach, you can tinker with your Raspberry Pi's date and time pretty much whenever you want. But just keep in mind that this is done at the system level globally, which means any project that you work on will be using that if necessary. And for those of you that need a real-time clock, you can always buy and install an RTC module, which is not that expensive. But for most people, the default method is to use the time date CTL package, which is available on every Pi model and it's very easy to use. Thanks for watching. And for more on the Raspberry Pi, please consider subscribing to this channel.